Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome to day 21 of Vlogmas. Yes, it is the 21st, the shortest day. <clears throat> Yule, the winter solstice, all those things um, are today. So if you celebrate Yule, hope you're had, having a lovely day. Um, are you all, those of you who celebrate Christmas, are you all ready? I've got a little bit of wrapping to do, but I'm not too worried. I can finish that off to the, tonight or tomorrow. So we're going to carry on doing the picture from the Creative Havens Vintage Christmas Greetings colouring book <coughs> using the Tombow Rogertons. I haven't gone back over this yet, um, but I probably will do that later today. I'm going to uh, colour in their faces today, so I'm going to start by using uh, A Crew, which is VP3, very pale three. So. We're just getting on to their faces. So this is a very, very pale, sort of pinky beige colour. As you can see, you can hardly see any colour at all at the moment, so. Oops. It is going on though, I can, I can see it. But it's not showing up very well on the camera at the moment. Let's do the other little face as well. So I cannot believe it is almost Christmas now. The year has gone so very fast and we are getting close to 2018 and that is just really, really weird. I will be doing a resolutions video, obviously. My resolutions are likely to quite to change quite a bit just simply because of the situations and I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film and upload in the first few months of the year. January shouldn't be too bad. Um, I just have a short colour on this. But February obviously is going to be a very awkward colourful uh, month for me because of course it's baby month and obviously that's going to interrupt a little bit with what's going on. Dumbbell I want, hang on. Uh, not doing very well. But we will, we'll see what, what happens. We'll do what we can. So next I'm going to use um, called Fawn and it's from volume 4 and it's an eye something, something 1 light something 1 I want to say I'm not sure oh dear excuse me I'm a little bit tired just have a sip of my tea so this is a little Fawn, so it's a brownish colour. We're only putting it on light, very, very lightly, very, very lightly over the top. Give her face a bit of colour. I'm going to have to sort the lights out in this room because I've actually noticed I've got a bulb gone above me and one in the other part of the room as well. So that's why it might be a little bit darker than normal in here. So you'll have to sort that out this weekend. I mean, it's not perfect skin tone, but it's not too bad. I'll do the other one. Normally, I would just mix pencils and just go with a Prismacolor or even one of the flesh ones from the Polychromos. It just depends, but I thought we'd just do it all with the... Um, 
of roses. So I haven't actually coloured as much in December as I thought I was going to. I mean, obviously it's not the end of the month yet, but I, I, you know, I, I thought I'd do loads of Christmas pictures and I've done, I think I finished three. And I've got another one on the go as well as this one. But then of course there's always next year. I won't need to buy many Christmas books next year. You know I will though, right? You know I will. Well, that's that. Now that's in the wrong place now. Let's move cork over that's it. Now I am gonna go back to light colour. BP4, it's not in the right order that, there it is. This is more of a yellowy colour but it's, it's eggshell and it's like a cream colour so we're just going to use it to blend it in a little bit. Doesn't matter if their faces are a little bit on the red side because it is winter and uh, they will be. is a pinky colour which is called Cameo Pink. So, let's get it sharpen. So this will just give them a little pink tone over the top. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just putting colours down and seeing what happens because that's the way I rumble and roll. So yeah, if you watched Tuesday's video, you would have noticed it wasn't a very good day on Tuesday because when we went out, I did get everything I wanted near enough. So there's like one item missing, which I can get any time, it's not a major problem, but my mum fell over, over at the retail park and hurt herself. She's okay, she's very achy, she's very bruised, but she is, she's doing all right. So, and then of course I had the problem with the car, with the exhaust. It seems to be a yearly reoccurrence with that, the exhaust on that car for some, for some unknown reason. But that's sorted now. It wasn't cheap, but it's sorted. Um, so. I'm just going to give her a little bit of blush here and here. And her too. Yeah, that'll do. Um, yeah. But uh, Mum's okay, which is the main thing. I was very worried for a while. Um, but she's okay, which is the main thing. So that's good. I think they've finished doing all, all their shopping now. I'm not sure. I think so. I hope so because <coughs> they went out today and they said it was absolutely mad. In the supermarket they go to, they said it was absolutely horrendous. So, you know, people just... I, I hate supermarket shopping. It's just that the people, they just stand in the way, they chat and, and you know, like, oh my God, there's a coffee shop. If you want to go and chat to your mates, go in the coffee shop. Don't block up the flipping aisles. It does annoy us. Um, my mum's very polite though. She wouldn't say anything. I, I probably wouldn't say anything, but I would stand there and, and hat and go, really? That's how I sort of like react. At least I'm not swearing or getting nasty. It's just... It's frustrating, especially when you just want to get home and you you don't want to hang around. And I don't like that at the moment. I don't want to hang around the shops. I just want to get what I want to get and get home. So, but there you go. It's all. It's what it is, 
you know. It's that time of year. People get stupid this time of year. I've never understood why people go out and go mad and buy a ton of bread. They do it every time there's a tiny little bit of snowfall here as well. They just go crazy. And you don't need to do that. It's like, well, yeah, buy an extra loaf of bread and freeze it. You know, get powdered milk or UHT milk. I've got powdered milk in the cupboard. If I run out of milk, and I want a cup of tea, I've got powdered milk, I can make up a pint of powdered milk and I can uh, have a cup of, uh, you know, have some cereal. It's not the best, but it's better than nothing. And uh, it's like even when it snowed the other day, the, what, last week or the week before, whenever it was, we'd done our shopping <clears throat> on Saturday because we wanted to go out on the Sunday. Obviously due to the snowfall we didn't go out but it you know so but even though I knew it was likely to snow I didn't buy anything extra because it, it never lasts that long around here anymore. It hasn't lasted like that for years and years and years. I mean I can understand having in a few extra bits if you've got kids, especially if you've got young kids. You know, you want to make sure that they're comfortable and they've got everything they need, but... People just go stupid and buy it like seven loaves of bread. Why? It's not going to last that long. And you're just going to have a load of bread that's going to go out of date and you're going to throw away. Unless, of course, you freeze it. <coughs> There's nothing wrong with freezing a loaf of bread. Oh, you have to excuse me, I'm a bit throaty today. I don't know. So I'm filming this later than I normally would. It's gone five o'clock. Normally I usually film these around one or two in the afternoon. I was at my mum's. You see how she is. <clears throat> and uh, picking up my copy of Christine by Stephen King. Cause I left it down there the other day and I, I want to finish it. I'm nowhere near the middle yet, but I want to get on and crack on and read some of that over the weekend. So I had to go and get it. But another reason I'm filming it quite late is also Paul's out this evening. He's going out with his, one of his mates to, for a few drinks, Christmas drinks. So I've got the house to myself. It's nice and peaceful. I can watch my booktube and my colouring videos. Um, and stuff he doesn't get because he gets bored because I tend to binge watch things. It's like I'll sit there and I'll watch like 10 episodes of a TV programme if I've got 10 episodes. Without thinking of it, I did last night, I watched a programme, watched four episodes in a row of this TV programme that was on. And, um, I didn't go to bed till half past one. <laughs> At which point he was snoring away. Which is fine, I don't have a problem with that. He's, as long as he's happy, he's got a good work, I don't, so. <clears throat> Obviously I didn't get up as early today. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel really, ugh, for a little bit. <sighs> terrible, 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 terrible. <clears throat> so yeah, I just watch what I want when he's out. And I don't, I watch it during the day sometimes, but as well. But sometimes I just put on music. Well, yesterday I had my, an audio book on. I plugged it into my phone, into the speakers, and just played the audio book for an hour or so. I'm still listening to, uh, Stephen Fry read the definitive Sherlock Holmes, which is really good. Uh, quite a few audiobooks, but I think I'll be doing that a lot now when I'm just sitting around colouring. Or uh, tidying up the house. I can put it on in the background. I mean, obviously, if I'm hoovering, I can't, I can't hear over the hoover. But if I'm just like tidying up or dusting, put the audiobook on, have a listen. See what else happens. Yeah. So 
I'm not in the mood to do a lot of blending on this. I just want to colour the picture and enjoy it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yes, there's a lot to be done. Oh dear. Yeah, this has some very strange colours in it, these uh, Arrugesons. They are very different colours. <coughs> and, uh... But they are nice, nice colours. They do have some lovely colours. You have to excuse me. I don't know why, but I am very, very tired tonight. I'm going to start up here. Nope, that broke. We'll use the other sharpener. That's the first time that's happened with one of these, so. Found these are quite good. They sharpen quite well and they don't break very easily, but uh, that one did for some reason. Oh, yeah, this one's broken again. It might be a problem with the pencil. That would be annoying. Is this the colour I want? Yeah, that's just breaking. Oh dear. Try again. Might have to use a different one. In fact, I think I will use a different one. Let's use them. Um, back in there. Back in there. This one. Yep. Yeah, use that one instead. See if that one's how that one is. That's a nice colour anyway. So yeah, there's uh I missed the program I was going to record today. I know it's on catch up as well, so I'll have a look for that later. I forget everything, I'm terrible. I don't watch a lot of TV because I get, especially series, is because I think uh, even on catch up you have to remember to go find them and go download them and everything. And I just, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I can't be bothered. I really, really can't. <clears throat> because I, I just, I mean, I've been, I watch some British programs like um, Holby City and Casualty. I mean, I missed Holby on Tuesday, so I did just download that from Catch Up and I watched it last night. Along with this four part series, I binged and I was very disappointed in the ending. I thought, oh, okay. So it was about this cop and she's up for chief superintendent or something and she's um, chasing down this drugs and firearms dealer. And then uh, there's this new detective who is uh, young and she's assigned on focus. Uh, cold cases and she picks on this one cold case that her that the boss the governor the, the woman she superintendent to be was involved in back in the day back in uh, 1990 it's a 27 year old case and this girl's investigating it and she finds some very odd discrepancies and it basically turns out that the boss the governor, the other woman, Bancroft, her name was, that was the name of the program as well, actually killed this woman because, oh, it was complicated. Um, she was best friends with the woman's husband at uni and then she had an affair with the woman and then the woman broke it off and she murdered her. 
and she'd hidden it over the years and got the lead investigator to drop everything by prejudicing him against her and her family because her father was a minor and this is not long after the 80s so the, you know in the UK we had the, the minor strikes so it's not long after that and the, the force was quite prejudiced against mining families so she got him to drop it and then of course this young whippersnapper is asked to go investigate it and she starts investigating it and she starts finding these discrepancies and she speaks to the lead investigator the bloke and he didn't want anything to do with it he thought that what they did was right and they investigated it enough but he thought about it and he told Bancroft that actually he felt it should have another look and he was going to try and help her solve the case but of course Bancroft doesn't want it solved because she's the killer so she kills him too and she takes this young detective with her on a, an op because she need, says she needs an extra body and the guy that they're trying to chase has cornered this girl and he's got a gun luckily or unluckily for her Bancroft comes and you'll find out why in a minute and and tases him and he dies but then because Bancroft knows that she knows that this detective Stevenson knows that she killed this girl she shoots her in the head she doesn't die she pulls through surgery but she's unconscious in a, in a coma and it just ended with her becoming chief superintendent and basically getting away with two counts of murder and attempt and one account of attempted murder and you know I was a bit okay that doesn't say a lot does it really it's not very good I, and I don't know whether that I think that was the end of the series and I was like huh well that's not very good that's not a very good example is it you know having this the chief super who was a good cop don't get me wrong she's a brilliant cop she got the job done she deserved the promotion but she basically was a cold-blooded killer the first one you could say was a crime of passion because that the girl the murdered girl in 1990 really provoked her she had a you know she was really nasty um and um so really it, it was sort of like a crime of passion and it was provoked there's no excuse for it but the later crimes that she used to cover up that crime weren't so when she killed her ex-boss that was just again it was a spur of the moment thing but she did it to cover her back and the same with shooting Stevenson in the head it was done deliberately so I was a bit disappointed that she got away with murder because I like the I like justice to prevail um, but yeah it really didn't in this case it was a shame um, it was a good program don't get me wrong don't get me wrong it, it was but I just felt that she shouldn't have got away with murder I felt that it was a little bit you know sort of like yeah if you commit murder to get what you want nobody's gonna punish you which is not really an example you want to set you know but hey yeah so that's one of the things I've been watching this is just British drama because I love American drama, don't get me wrong, I do, but it's very glossy um, and unreal in some cases. Not all cases, but in some cases. And is that one? Yeah, and that one. It's just very disheartening that everybody in um, these American programs, they're always really good looking and gorgeous and male and female but uh, yeah in the UK most of them are still gorgeous and pretty but you do get the odd one where I don't know I think our crime dramas just seem to be a bit more gritty in the UK 
they just do. They just seem a little bit more. Uh, I mean, I'm saying that I'm a big fan of things like Criminal Minds. In fact, I've got an episode of that to watch tonight that I haven't watched yet. From the other night. Excellent. I think it was on the other night. I didn't see it on my um, schedule, but I will double check. Usually watch it straight away, so I might have even watched it. So. Definitely wasn't the last series, last in the series last week, so maybe it's taking a break because obviously everything's gone mad for Christmas. And it, it gets frustrating when you do watch a series and it's taken off the air for Christmas. And I'm the same when I can't find things in the shops because they've got all the Christmas stuff up. I said, yeah, it's all, they've taken it all off of this, put the Christmas tat out because a lot of it is tat. And. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not Scrooge, I love Christmas, my favourite time of year, but I do get a bit fed up of it after a while. You know, it's been going on since like August, and it's still not here. And the, the, you just know that as soon as Christmas is over and New Year, they'll have the Easter eggs out. Now, from what I gather, Easter is April 1st this year, so that's a long way off. So... But that's what, so you, you know, you guarantee all the Easter stuff will be out. And you'll actually have Christmas chocolates and Easter chocolates in the same aisle. Well, they try and sell off the Christmas chocolates cheap and then sell off the Easter chocolates full price. And it's ridiculous. It is so stupid. It really is stupid. It's like, yeah, I'm not even thinking about Easter yet. As I said, let's get New Year out of the way. So I've been really good and I haven't been buying anything. So, you know, I haven't bought any more colouring books or pencils or pens or glitter. I haven't. All I've been doing is buying stuff for the baby, um, which we've been putting together, which is great. It's coming together nicely. Um, and then we've got... I've been paid because we get paid early at Christmas. Normally our pay is this is the last working day of the month. But this year, um, at Christmas time normally, it is does tend to be a little bit earlier. So it, it does tend to be around the 20th, 21st, 22nd. I was actually expecting it to be tomorrow because we're normally paid on the last working day, so I thought, well, it'll probably be the Friday then. But no, we got paid today. I looked at my bank this morning and it's all. Yeah, what's that? What's the... Not making much sense this picture right now for me. Let's put that there. Um, yeah, so we normally get paid, like I said, the last working day of the month. Um, but uh, no, we got paid. We get paid early at Christmas, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that because I've got all my Christmas presents. My next expense is Paul's birthday, which is in January. So I will be buying myself. Now I've been paid. It's just a matter of when I can get around to bothering to order the stuff because obviously it being Christmas, it's not going to come till after Christmas anyway. Um, is um, the Stephen King books for the Stephen King reader thong. I call it a thong, but it's a thong, um, which is going to be for January Misery. So I've got those ready in my cart to go. Um, so what is it? Misery, uh, Blaze, and Doris Claiborne are the three we're reading first. So that's January, February, and March. So I've got those ready. I'm just going to order them all soon. Whether or not I order a colouring book, I might do. I might order a Creative Haven one because they're only like three quid, four quid. They're not very expensive books. And I do actually like them. I love the illustrations. It depends. I don't really need any more colouring books. I've got a ton of them. I mean, obviously, the Christmas ones will be going away after Christmas Day. You know, after I've finished anything. So that's stopped again for some reason, and I don't know why. So 
Um, like I said, uh, I'm not going to buy myself many uh, colouring books because I don't need them. I've got a lot. Christmas ones will be going away soon. Um, obviously anything I've started but haven't finished. So for instance this one I will continue with. But I don't know. I mean, there are still current books I want. I want the other two romantic country books. I still only got book one. Um, there's a theatrical masks one. I really want that. Um, I mean, to be fair, that is actually in my cart, so I might just order that one. And uh, see what happens now. The other one. Where is it? In volume two. That one. Yeah. So, yeah, it's. There are a few things I want. It's not like I've got to have stuff. I got a ton of comic books. Who knows how much I'm actually going to be able to do once baby arrives? Because I just don't know. I might not get to do anything at all. I might do get some time. I really don't know how it's going to affect everything day to day. So we will wait and see. And if it, I mean, the good thing is, I, I might still, oops, I'm just not the camera, uh, tripod. I might still be able to do colouring chats and colouring catch-ups. They might be a bit shorter. They might be very, very disjointed. But I will, I will try. Um, It might be, but I, I mean, the main thing is I could have. Oops. Let's use that one. The Moses basket and the baby right next to me, so that if she starts crying, I can just turn the camera off, sort out whatever she needs, and then come back. And there'll probably be days when I just don't feel like it, so. It's going to be a bit of a a change and a learning curve, but obviously, as we learn and get used to the changes, we'll be okay. I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks where I don't post anything at all, but I'm sure you will understand why. At least I hope so. I'm going to give her these dark blue gloves. So yeah, I do like these pencils. They are nice. Hopefully it won't take me too long to finish this one. Like I said, I will go over this blue dress and this coat again, because I've done two coats or two layers on that coat already. Um, off camera, so you don't have to watch it. I might do that tonight, after I've had my tea. Which is gonna be a nice, um, nice stew today. I'm just gonna color in her shoes. They're not very practical for snow though, do they? <laughs> there you go. So. 
So you can get quite a deep colour if you push hard. So that's me pushing a bit harder. It looks like she's wearing ballet shoes, which is a bit odd. For the snow, I mean. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I like this picture. Oops, went a bit out of the lines there. But that doesn't matter because it doesn't, it's just about having fun. No. Ready who? Okay, so let's get a pinky colour I want. So so we have orchid pink, which is number one. Yeah, we're just gonna do her the flowers in her hat. Orchid pink. Like I said, I'm not really worrying about blending or shading. This is just about having fun today. And showing you the different Tombow colours. I'm going to press quite hard on the ribbon. Okay. I'm going to go over the roses with another colour. Oh, it's hard work, isn't it? I can't believe how Christmas we are close to it's the 21st that's mad so I may be colouring um doing a colouring catch up to finish this off in a different location um because obviously tomorrow pulls off so at, at work so I might do another one tomorrow she so might get two vlogmases of, of colouring catch up but um if I can't finish it in that time on camera then I'll have to uh, take it upstairs and, and do it upstairs in a different place which is is fine it doesn't really matter so that's that one is this one I was looking at is this rose Look, that's almond blossom. Must be this one up here. Rose. So we're just going to go over these. Like so. And I'm also going to give her fur trim a little pink colour. Because white would be boring, there's going to be enough white on this page anyway with all the snow. So I, uh, I'm thinking of watching it's a Wonderful Life later, which is my favourite, favourite, favourite Christmas movie ever. Really, really is. I love that film. So I might go and watch that later on. This evening. I don't watch a lot of Christmas films. <gasps> Shock horror. I just don't. I watch films seasonally like Meet the Instant Lewis, The Wonderful Life because they are set around that time. But I don't go mad watching like the Hallmark Channel or the Christmas channels. I'm like, ugh, no. Cannot be bothered. They all tell the same story. I do like a Muppet's Christmas Carol though. You can't go wrong with a Muppet Christmas Carol. something like that I really like but uh, yeah we 
give her red gloves as well. She's only got one hand out. You only see one, so we'll do that after. But yeah, I mean, I know some people go mad and watch loads of Christmas films and loads of Christmas programs, but I, I just don't, I don't watch it. It's like I don't watch, like I said, a lot of TV. I don't watch The Walking Dead. I don't watch Game of Thrones. It's just not for me. I mean, I may one day catch up with them. But I'm not that bothered. There's so much else I want to do. Uh, so many books I want to read. Um, documentaries I want to watch because I am a documentaries kind of gal. I prefer documentaries to um, general entertainment programs. It's like the soaps, like Emmerdale and Coronation Street and EastEnders. Everybody goes on about them. I don't watch any of those programs. I I I will admit though recently I have watched the odd episode of EastEnders. Just because this bloke I know is in it, I used to go to college with him, and his name is Adam Astell, and he has been playing Will Brown's son, Luke Browning. So I've watched a few episodes just because he's in it, but not enough to, for me to know exactly what's going on right now, because I don't know. Haven't got a clue. Haven't got the foggiest as to what's going on. And it really doesn't bother me either. So like I said, I, I watched a few episodes because of my friend Adam being in it. But that's about it, really. I won't... I don't get overexcited about things like that. Because... I just really don't. I never have. I, I did used to watch, say, uh, EastEnders when I was a lot younger. We were talking about the 80s and early 90s. And obviously, what my parents watched, because I had no choice. So my mum would always watch things like Corrie and Coronation Street and Emmerdale Farm what Emmerdale is called now, or as we call it, Village of the Damned. And I'll still sit there and quite happily watch them if they're, I'm at Mum's and they're on. But they're not for me. I, I can't be bothered with having to watch something three or four times a week, every week. It's just too much like hard work. It's like, it's a chore. And I don't think watching television should be a chore. It should be entertaining and educational but not make you think oh, I must see this if I don't see this I'm missing out and, and I think that uh, that can be the case sometimes with some of these programs that you're um midnight blue you're watching these programs and they are bloody awful or they're on five or six times a week. Some days they have double episodes and it's like, no, go away. I do not want to spend that amount of time watching one episode or one program of something. You know, when you think about it, if it's on five times a week, that's two and a half hours. A week of your life gone. I could be I can read a book in two and a half hours. And don't get me wrong, I don't blame my mum, she loves them. She reads too, she reads a lot. So, she reads, it's not like she doesn't read at all, but to me, I just, oh, I don't know. I just can't. So she's gonna have a light blue trim on hers because yes, she's wearing blue. So, um, I think 
we'll leave it there for now. We've done a good bit on it. Um, let's just have a look. There's not much to do. There we go. We'll leave it there because we are in about 35 to 40 minutes now. All we've got left to do now is the, the sled and the present that she's holding. The hair on the girls. The little bit of holly. Polka dots and the trim on her dress. Leaves and stuff here and the snow and the May, the letter M for me. So we'll leave that there for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I will be back when we try and finish this one off um, tomorrow. And I will see you all then. So have a lovely evening. Have a lovely Yule, whatever you're doing today. And I'll see you soon. Bye then.